are now on the data sources page. In the tasks table, we can add new fields. Here we've noticed that noco based data sources include a markdown type automation. They also support a rich text type. After creating these two fields, let's make a comparison. Go to the edit page. We enable the two new fields we just added. Here we enter the content, hello world. In the rich text field, you can click on the numbering option and then enter hello world. Click Submit. We can see the markdown here, while Rich Text supports different text styles and formats. Next, let's go to the Plugin Manager. Enable the Markdown VDEditor plugin. This plugin supports Markdown, a powerful editor for working with long texts. Back in Data Sources, we proceed with configuring the text collection. Click Add Field. Notice there's now a Markdown Vidator field type available. Name it Task Detail and key it as Task Detail. Enable all Markdown Diter toolbar configurations. Click Submit. This creates the Task Detail field. Go to the Task Configuration page. In the Task Management page, we click the Edit button. Open the newly added Task Detail field. Here we enter some content, for example, hello, and make it bold. Upload the NocoBase logo here. Enter welcome to experience. Click submit. We can see that the page data has been uploaded successfully. Did you notice the power of the Markdown VDTOR plugin? It can handle text styling, image uploads, and more. In the NocoBase block, we can adjust the positions of page fields. Under the Edit button, we drag the Task Status field to follow the Description field, then delete the previously added Markdown field and also remove the Rich Text field. Move Task Attachment so it appears after Task Detail. This makes the page layout more concise and tidy. Click anywhere to continue. Your settings will be saved successfully. Under the Add New button, we can still drag and configure fields. Click anywhere to finalize the setup. In the Plugin Manager page, we can upload other plugins. Click Add and Update. Choose Upload Plugin. Upload the Comment Plugin to Plugin Management. Search for Comment. Enable the Comment Plugin. You have now successfully enabled the Comment Plugin feature. Go to Data Sources. Open the Data Collection. In this data collection, we add the comment collection. Click Submit to create the comment collection and configure its fields. A content field already exists in the comment collection and it's of type Markdown Vidutter. Click Add Field. Choose Many to One. This way, each comment belongs to a task. Set the target to the Tasks collection. Use Task ID as the foreign key. The target key is the ID in the Tasks collection. Create an inverse relationship field. Comments. Click Submit. You have successfully established a many-to-one relationship between comment and task. After creation, return to the Task Management interface page. Because of the Comment plugin, the Comment collection is provided in the Plugin Marketplace. It's a paid plugin. If we want a free commenting feature in our system, we need to create a custom comment collection. In editor mode, we first remove the one we just added. Delete the comment block. Then go back to data sources. Click add general collection. Here we name the collection comment02. Click submit. Copy settings from the comments collection First, a Markdown field for content. Enable all toolbar configurations. Click Submit. Now we have created the Comment Content field. Click Add field again. Select Many to One. 
Choose tasks as the target collection. Set task ID as the target field. Same logic as before to relate it to tasks. Create an inverse relationship field. Click Submit. At this point, you can see task ID added as a foreign key, and the association field belongs to task. Click Anywhere to exit configuration. Return to the task management page. Click Edit. In Add Block, we choose a list data block. Select Comments 2 as the associated records collection. Click Add New. Select Current Collection, Comment Content. Here we enter Hello, click Submit. At first, the page shows no content, so we click Configure Fields. Select Comment Content. We'll add more under Add New. NOCO Base. Set it as Heading 1. Click Submit. You can see the addition was successful. We drag comments to the top right of the page. Now, a custom comment collection function is in place. In the Edit Block page, we add blocks. Select the Comments 2 collection we just set up. Choose Comments. Here we make a simple comment. Click Commit button. Comment added successfully. We enable Edit, Delete, and Quote Reply actions. Make a modification to the previously added comment. Click Submit. Update successful. We go to the Edit interface again and optimize the interface. In Open Mode, choose Dialog. Resize the dialog to large. Click Edit again. You can see the page has changed. Drag the Comments Collection block to the top right. Adjust the ratio. Click Anywhere to continue. Click Add again. You can see the changes took effect. Let's review the challenge tasks from last class. We need to create two new fields in the Tasks collection. Click on Configure Fields for Tasks. Under Add Field, choose Single Select. Enter Task Status as the display name and Task Status as the key. Add six options. Not Started, In Progress, Completed, Cancelled, Archived, and assign each a distinct color. Click Submit. We have created the Task Status field. Next, we add an Attachment field. Choose Attachment here. Name it Task Attachment and key it as Task Attachment. We've successfully added these two new fields. In the Task Management page, click UI Editor to go to the Configuration screen. Enable Create By, Task Status, and Task Attachment. Don't forget to configure the Add New button, so Task Status and Task Attachment are enabled there as well. Our two new fields have been added. Now let's enter some new data. Click Submit. You will see the newly entered data already displayed in the page block. Then, on the Edit Page block, we also add the Task Status and Task Attachment fields. Here we can modify things and then submit.